Welcome back to Ride JBI. This is JB. This is update number six on the 2023 KTM 450 SXF Ride JBI R&D bike build. So since the last update, the rear swing arm has been mounted to the bike. The rear, the wheel axles, swing arm, and most of the linkage bolts have been remounted to the bike as well. The coated engine mounts and coated engine mount bolts were mounted. Also recently, the JBI titanium subframe bolts recently arrived. This is a new item. Uh, soon we'll be getting JBI titanium upper subframe bolts as well. Probably about maybe a month from now we'll get those in. But details on that on our website. A little better fitment on the plastic because this bolt not only bolts the subframe rail to the frame, but also holds your plastic side panel in place. And um, the little better fitment prevents that plastic from wobbling around and ovaling out and becoming loose over time. So I think you'll appreciate that. And also they won't rust like the OEM bolts. Um, we're gonna get this side cover vapor blasted so that way it's silver. And that way the entire engine will be mostly silver with the exception of the valve cover that we did in gold. We can see the backside of the frame engine mount bolts that were Cerakoted gold. We'll go over and take a look at those. The handlebar mounts have been stripped down and set off to be anodized black, along with the uh, steering stem nut as well. We're gonna anodize that black too. We haven't put on the front wheel yet, but this is what the axle looks like. I'm debating not running this cover piece right here that we had Cerakoted gold. So instead you can actually see the end of this axle, which is still gold. I think it just might be a cooler kind of uh, works type of look. These are just JBI titanium gold bolts we have on our website already. I've had these for many years now. They've had some very good hold up and keeping a good appearance and the tools being on it a lot. Now let's check out, here's our valve cover that we got installed. Our engine mount. Now these are the long engine bolts that we Cerakoted gold. Yeah, sorry about the stains on the engine, but I tried a lot of things to get them off, but nothing too crazy because I don't want to ruin it more than uh, the aesthetic already is, but small price to pay for a bike with three hours. And there's the lower one with the Cerakote as well. Here's the backside of our swing arm bolt. We had Thai nitrated gold and the other side of our JBI titanium subframe bolts lower subframe bolts. So that gap right there is where the plastic will fit in between once we get the plastics in. We got the rear shock mounted up to the bike. Well, one of them. This is our other test shock, test shock A. This is test shock B. That way, when we go testing to the track, we have more than one set of suspension to try. These are the other set of forks. This is the other set of WP Exact Pro 6500 cartridge kit forks that we have with the red bottoms. 
And then this is the WP cone valve fork that is being built up, at least one of them. That fork will have a lot of mods to it. It'll be very cool and very uh, unique compared to what is normally in a cone valve fork. Um, I purchased a Luxon link for this bike, the adjustable one. So that should be arriving here soon in a couple days. Then we can finish the shock mounting slash assembly to the bike. We'll be utilizing it in the stock length for the time being, just to continue our testing with the stock length of link. And then down the road, we'll be utilizing the different lengths that it can be modified to, just so we can do some good back-to-back -back testing and uh, see how this bike feels with some different length, length links on there. All JBI suspension services and parts can be found at ridejbi.com.